So what does relief and recovery mean in the women, peace and security agenda and how can we connect the dots between this and arms control and disarmament? Relief and recovery refers to activities that are carried out in post-conflict or post-disaster situations. The WPS agenda asserts the importance of including the voices and concerns of women and girls in those activities. In terms of arms control and disarmament, this includes addressing the long-lasting impacts of armed conflict and weapons on individuals as well as societies. One of the main examples connecting disarmament with relief and recovery is humanitarian mine action. The latest action plans under the Mine Ban Convention and the Convention on Cluster Munitions encourage states to mainstream gender considerations in all activities, including clearance and destruction of landmines, risk education and victim assistance. Today, uh, gender mainstreaming is a standard practice in mine action. For example, in Colombia, our community-based rehabilitation strategy is drawn on the basis of beneficiaries' needs. Those include victims, but also caregivers, persons with disabilities and members of the community. In this way, we ensure that the experiences and perspectives of women and men, girls and boys are included and their needs are addressed without any discrimination. But still, more can be done. Policy actors and researchers should act to improve data collection to better understand the needs of survivors and support the integration of gender and disabilities perspectives into victim assistance. Additionally, the experience with gender-sensitive victim assistance in mine action could be expanded to protocols and agreements dealing with chemical and biological weapons. UNIDIA has conducted research on how this knowledge could feed into response and assistance activities. Building back trust and ensuring everyone lives a safe and healthy life after conflict is of paramount importance.